those who sailed on her, it will be a day long remembered. Uh, Harold Goldfarb, I'm a physician, and in 1964, May, uh, I was ship surgeon transatlantic, going New York to Southampton to La Havre. Um, Bill Kelly was the chief, chief surgeon, and I was surgeon. I took care of uh, tourist class and crew. It was a wonderful trip. Uh, captain Alexanderson was our captain, and we had pretty smooth sailing, wonderful dining. The crew could not do enough for me because I took care of the crew. Uh, if I didn't show up for a massage, they wanted to know where was I. I had office hours uh, seven to eight in the morning, I think two to three in the afternoon, and 6.30 to 7.30 or something like that in the evening. So I could catch any crew member could come on his time. When I get to the uh, dispensary, the nurse would have breakfast for me and I requested juice, uh, toasted English muffin and coffee, and that was it. Maybe sometime Kip at Herrings or something. Um, I did order hors d'oeuvres one afternoon in my room, and I said, I'd like some scotch, and I think at that time I was drinking Ambassador Scotch, so I said, I'll have Ambassador Scotch. They brought a whole tray of hors d'oeuvres and a whole bottle, one liter, of Ambassador <laughs> Scotch. <laughs> they took good care of the doctor. I had an operation at sea, I had a passenger, uh, with a very painful thrombosed hemorrhoid. And I took him to the sur uh, surgery. We had an operating room. And I put him on the operating table and rump up. Now, I was an ophthalmology resident. I took care of eyeballs. But I had been in general surgery before. So he did rump up. <laughs> and I incised his thrombosed hemorrhoid. And I will tell you, that was one happy passenger, the most grateful, one of my most grateful patients. So it was a wonderful trip. And uh, I've enjoyed the CB4, and my wife and I have done nine crossings on the QE2 and QM2 transatlantic. Uh, we don't do cruise cruises on great big ships, and I wish this ship could have been rehabilitated. Wonderful memories of a great ship, an epity, uh, epitome of American technology, power, and graciousness, something which sadly is being lost in today's um, uh, frenetic uh, high-tech world. Uh, I think people, uh, it's, it's uh, worth saving the ship, it's worth contributing uh, money, because if we have no remembrance of the past, we have very little mark to go into the future. And it was a wonderful, glorious past. There may be some things we do a little bit different, but uh, it's something that definitely should be remembered and we should have pride in our history.